There's been um, significant learnings coming out of some of the other jurisdictions. Uh, KPMG has been involved in the rollout of some of those, and uh, there's certainly some lessons uh, that can be learned by the U.S. bankers, and I'll talk about a couple of them. The first one is you need to get settlement right. When the U.K. launched their faster payment schema, they designed a settlement process that contemplated a loss share agreement with three daily settlement cycles. And this in turn uh, actually required um, significant uh, investments uh, in uh, collateral provisions as well as creating significant risk during the outside hours that RTGS was, was processing. A second uh, lesson learned is when implementing uh, a new payment rail, it should be implemented with the use of the ISO 2022 payment standard. A little bit about that standard. ISO 2022 is a global standard that promotes interoperability and fosters cross-border payments. It also has the capability to carry much richer data that can be shared and passed between the payee and the payor and promotes much greater straight through processing than other payment types. Once again, an example from the UK when they launched their faster payments rails, they chose to use the message standard of the 8583. It less robust, but it enabled them to stand up the system in a much more quickly fashion. Hindsight being 2020, they look back upon it now, understanding that they would like to migrate off of the 8583 to the 2022 standard, but they now recognize that the challenges associated to doing that are very complicated, risky, and maybe somewhat impossible to go back to.